Good afternoon, everyone. So uh, welcome to the next live session, Organizing Biosis Group Adelaide. So uh, as you all know, we have been doing uh, the same session with the different um, education providers uh, for the last few weeks. And um, today, uh, uh, Mr. Thilino Vidana Patran from SAIBT uh, is here to share some uh, more information about their uh, college. So then, uh, uh, welcome, Tilina, for the session. So uh, over to you. Thank you, Kalni. Uh, thank, thanks for inviting SAIBT to be a part of this session. Uh, so I'll uh, share my screen uh, so then all of you can see the uh, presentation. So I have a uh, quite a bit of slides, but... Uh, I'll just skip through the ones which are not uh, relevant. You can go back, always go back and check. Um, I mean, I don't have irrelevant slides, slides, but of course, if they're like pictures or anything as such, I'll just skip through. So uh, as Kalan introduced, I'm Tilina Vidana Patrana from SAIPT. I'm looking after the markets of uh, South Asia and Africa mainly. Um, so SABT is the uh, preferred pathway of uh, University of South Australia. So we are located at University uh, of South Australia City East Campus itself. So that means students are sharing uh, UniSA facilities from day one because uh, they're sharing UniSA ID card to enter into the uh, facility, of course. And then that point onwards, uh, they have access to um all the uh, UNISA facilities such as, you know, career counselors, uh, career guidance, uh, libraries, sports such as cricket, basketball, football, and so on and so forth, and um, labs and all of that. And um, yes, um, so that's why I said that we are on campus. So we actually uh, located on campus, UNISA on campus. Um, yeah, so, so those who haven't heard of Adelaide. So Adelaide is the fifth largest city in uh, Australia. So capital city of South Australia. So we have about 1.3 million population. So uh, that is in Adelaide. In South Australia, we have about 1.7 uh, million population. So we can see uh, all the uh, population is concentrated in Adelaide. Um, Though we are 1.3, we are very multicultural. So we have students from over, uh, I mean, UniSA has students from over 90 different countries. If you say SABIT, we also have students from more than like uh, 30 to 40 uh, countries. Uh, quality of education in South Australia, of course, we have only three uh, government universities, University of South Australia, University of Adelaide, and Flinders University, all are well ranked. So that's why we say in uh, Adelaide, uh, quality of education is high. Uh, a friendly face, of course. Um, um, it's, it's As I said, it's only 1.3 million population. So in Adelaide, of course, uh, we know each other in our communities. So uh, most of the jobs are from referrals, so and so forth. Um, actually, Adelaide was ranked Australia's most livable city um, a couple of years ago. Uh, uh, we are more affordable than Sydney, Perth, uh, Melbourne, uh, you know, from, from those, all the main cities, even Brisbane, we are more affordable than Brisbane as well. Statistically, uh, we are like 19% uh, affordable than Sydney uh, and 15% affordable than Melbourne, but it depends on the lifestyle. So you can actually have a good uh, lifestyle with... Uh, minimum expenses in Adelaide. Um, and the other thing is students are living in the heart of the city. Uh, you don't really uh, live uh, hours away from the city. That's the Adelaide life. So maximum like, you know, 20 minutes away from the city. That's um, uh, the location, the geography in Adelaide. So everyone is living uh, close by. Um, students, of course, get 50% discount in public transport. That itself saves a lot of money um, when you compare with other major cities, which are costing you like 150, 160 bucks per month. But uh, in Adelaide, it's about $55 or so. Um, 
very convenient because it is small, as I said. So Adelaide cities and CBD, Central Business District itself, we call it as one square mile uh, city. So it's actually, um, we walk one into the other. So that's how uh, convenient it is. Uh, even to go to beaches and hills, it's about 20 minutes drive. Um, so uh, we also call it as the city of festival because we have a festival, you know, each and every month. So Fringe is coming up, which is the uh, largest festival in Southern Hemisphere, uh, so which is coming up in March, April. Um, yeah, so I am not sure whether you can see this slide uh, clearly, but this is to emphasize you on career opportunities in Australia and how fast you can find a job in South Australia. So South Australia is the state that you can find a job the fastest after the graduation. So after 2.2 months of your graduation, you may be able to find a job in uh, South Australia. If you see uh, most demanding jobs, sorry, uh, I can see uh, software engineers, developer, programmers, and uh, finance managers, uh, statisticians, structural engineers, electrical engineers, uh, nutrition, you know, health sector. So STEM is the um, actually government is funding STEM programs and they encourage students to study STEM. So if you study STEM program, I think you have a better chance of finding a job. So that is where we'll go towards. Go towards. Um, so this slide actually to let you know, those who are thinking that, you know, I can't find a job in Adelaide, I have to go to Melbourne first, only Melbourne, Sydney. Uh, so we also have part-time jobs and whoever comes over here, they of course do part-time jobs. So we have more than 50,000 uh, international students in year 2023. Um, so uh, they are doing all good. And Study Adelaide, which is a government body, uh, launched a program for Job Shop a couple of years ago, and it is still running. You can apply for Job Shop uh, while you're in your home country. Um, and some students secure jobs uh, through this program. So as per my knowledge, Adelaide Oval itself offered more than uh, 100 jobs through this program. So it's not only Adelaide Oval, there's so many uh, always partner up with this uh, particular program. Uh, this is a link that you can go back and have a look. Uh, so it's a virtual tour. You can virtually uh, travel um, all around the city uh, through this link. Uh, these are some of the facilities uh, actually in uh, University of South Australia, UniSA. I'll show you later on. Uh, first of all, I'll show you four main um, campuses of University of South Australia, City West, City East. That's where we are, City East. And uh, we have another two campuses like 20 minutes away from the city, Mawson Lake, and 15 minutes away from the city, which is Maggie. So City West and City East are located um, in CBD. So those two are within like walking distance each other. Uh, as you can see here, yeah, these are the uh, City West buildings of University of South Australia. Uh, these are modern buildings, you know, so, you know, less than any Melbourne or Sydney uh, university, uh, of course. And uh, City West mainly deliver business programs. So university actually has a very good uh, business program, ranked top 1% worldwide. And also it, it has a two accreditation, we call as dual accreditation, a, a quiz and uh, also EFMD. So it's a very good ranked business school. Um, and this is the City East campus. This is actually the SAIBT building itself, as you can see here. Uh, so SAIBT is in all levels of this building. So we have uh, five levels. Uh, behind this building, uh, this is SAIB, uh, sorry, uh, Uni SA Health Faculty. So if students do study health related programs, they should study in this campus. So there are some rankings for you, uh, for your reference. So nursing is very popular. It's the world's top 100. 
and yeah, top 10 um, in Australia for graduate careers in physiotherapy and occupational therapy, top 10 in Australia as exercise and sports science, likewise. So Mawson Lake, as I said, 20 minutes away from the city. Uh, this is where our engineering and IT uh, programs are delivered. Uh, those are very well ranked in Australia and all the uh, engineering degrees are Engineers Australia accredited. IT, IT degree is also accredited by uh, AC, Australia Computer Society. Uh, this is the McGill campus, it's like 15 minutes away from the city. Uh, this is where arts, uh, teaching and uh, architectural uh, studies are conducted. Uh, they have a very good architectural program. So you can see some of the uh, latest facilities and uh, how much they spend on these facilities, how much the government spend on these facilities. That means, you know, uh, they want students to come and experience uh, these facilities and uh, be graduated with latest technologies and, you know, uh, uh, latest experiences. So that's why uh, government and universities spending this much of money. Uh, is one of the buildings in city east you can see those facilities they are very modern very the latest facilities actually so you can see 24 7 access to the student lounge it's another building in the same campus i'm not going to go through each and every point uh, but you can see how modern are they you may see a classroom lecture theater actually uh, in this uh, page. So actually, this uh, lecture theater can hold about three to four hundred students at once. But the difference between SAIBT and UniSA is that UniSA classroom is about twenty to twenty-five maximum students in a class. So students can easily connect with the uh, lecturer, and lecturer actually knows you by name. So that's the uh, main difference between a pathway provider and a uh, university. It's another uh, building uh, just invested heavily on health and biomedical. As you can see here. These are some of the facilities. Actually, some of these facilities are open to public. Yeah, so UniSA, I've uh, only explained you four campuses uh, which they have in the city and um, uh, nearby city. So it delivers seven academic units in these four campuses. So clinical and health, allied health, both of them delivered at uh, City East. Uh, STEM delivered at uh, Mawson Lake, Creative in uh, McGill, Education also in McGill, Justice and Society that is in McGill, and Business in City West. So that's how they delivered those programs. So again, a uh, few rankings if you're interested. So top three young universities in Australia uh, and ranked sixth in the world for quality education. That is something special. And I think 92% overall international student satisfaction rate. That is very important. And uh, number one in Australia for quality education. Another uh, important ranking. And I think uh, students, some of the students actually, they study and they uh, look for work. For them, uh, South Australia is a very good university. They ranked uh, top 10 in Australia for employer satisfaction. Number one in Australia for employer satisfaction. So probably the best university to study if you are looking for employment opportunities in future. Number six in Australia overall for graduate employability. Okay, let's get back to SAVIT. Uh, that's where I come from. Uh, SAVIT actually uh, is about 22 years old now. So we established in 2001. Um, I, I think I've already covered located on campus more class sizes. And we also deliver LE course, that means English course, uh, prior to the bachelor or master's degree. Um, 
it is good that if uh, the student can meet the requirement, if not, um, they have to go through an English uh, pathway. We, we, we package maximum up to 10 uh, weeks for postgraduate students. Uh, undergraduates, we always encourage them to meet the re requirement because requirement is only 5.5, no balance step, but IELTS equivalent. Uh, personal care is the highlight, I think. So you need, I mean, uh, SAIBT students are taken care of, uh, uh, taken care by the uh, student services team very well. Um, actually, uh, at any given time, we have about six to 700 students. We are not a huge uh, university. We are a, a pathway provider. So uh, our student services team consists of 10 to 11 uh, staff. So that means, you know, uh, they're there to listen to student matters. You know, it could be anything. It could be personal matter, accommodation matter, um, or assignment problem or anything as such. So they're there to help. So we actually have assignment help. So if a student, if the student is struggling with an assignment, they can always reach out to the student services team and have an appointment with the coordinator and get things sorted. Those are free of charge. Uh, so please get use of those uh, facilities. Uh, flexible intake. Yes, we have three intakes, uh, February, June, and October, accommodation services. We do provide accommodation uh, for over 18 as well as minors. So if the student is uh, completing their 16th birthday on or before the course commencement date, they can study with us. So 16 uh, is the minimum age to study with us. Uh, they have to have a guardian. So we are providing that guardianship as well, if required. Yeah, otherwise, you can arrange your own guardian. Uh, so we have only five diploma programs, but we have pathways to more than 90 uh, university uh, bachelor degrees. So we have covered we have covered more, most of the bachelor degrees at UniSA uh, from this five uh, diploma programs. Um, so diplomas, if the student has like, if you're from India or Bangladesh or um, Pakistan, so if you have the percentage of 55 or above or GPA 2.6 or above, then uh, they can study one year diploma. Uh, we call it as one year diploma, but you can also always fast track it uh, within eight months if you want to. Um, otherwise, if you have less results, we still offer you a pace uh, that is called Diploma Stage 1 and Stage 2. You still come for the diploma, but the duration would be higher. So let's say a student from um, India with less than 55% or a student from Sri Lanka with one S pass. So in that case, those students have to do uh, the one year diploma plus another four subjects, so 12 subjects all together. But students from uh, Australia ele year 11 qualification, that is equivalent to, I think we don't recruit from India uh, actually, but a British curriculum, yes. So if they have followed British curriculum and they have the year 11 qualification, then we can recruit those students or a Sri Lanka local qualification uh, Sri Lanka O levels, they can also uh, come and study with us. The diploma stage one and stage two, that means one year diploma plus another one year. Uh, so, altogether 16 subjects uh, to finish the diploma. So, basically, diploma uh, has 16 subjects, but if the student has the qualification of like from India 55% or above, they study only eight subjects. They can finish it within one year or uh eight months but you know as i said uh, if you have less qualifications then the duration would be more so the unique thing about our diploma is it doesn't matter what results you have we have or we have an offering okay so that's the speciality i'll just go through the five diploma programs it's the first uh, one is diploma arts uh so social work is very 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 popular so all the students are inquiring about nursing, nursing, but 
all of them are not capable of finishing the diploma of health science though they have the interest so because it you have to have the background you have to have like you know chemistry physics a bit of maths knowledge into it uh, but you know for some reason uh, they're doing uh, nursing and it's not that easy if they don't if you don't have a good background uh, so those kind of students can easily go to social work which has equal demand uh, and uh, finish uh, uh, the degree within like five five years because social work degree itself four years and uh, diploma of arts is one year. Uh, business, uh, yeah, business is very common in our region, especially uh, in uh, South Asia, Africa, and in Latin America. Uh, engineering, yes, we have all these engineering specializations plus aviation. If you're interested, Southeast Asian uh, countries are very interested in aviation. Uh, so we have aviation flight and management both. And all other engineering like civil, electronic, uh, me mechanical, mechatronics and things like that. So health, of course, the highlight is nursing. Uh, so we recruit number of students to nursing. Uh, so the health science, only thing is IELTS requirement is a bit varied. Uh, it depends on the, the package program. Otherwise, we need ILTS 6.0 or no man less than 6.0 for health science. Uh, but nursing program requires 6.5, no man less than 6. Midwifery, the same, 6.5, no man less than 6. Uh, IT, again, very popular among um, especially South Asian countries. And they have a good future in Australia. Uh, so we have like these specializations, uh, mobile application, network, cybersecurity, software development, software engineering. Uh, ETP is a program which is like a foundation kind of a program because ETP program does not carry any credit towards the bachelor program. So diplomas, most of the diploma as are equivalent to the first year of many bachelor degrees like engineering, IT, business, most of the arts uh, bachelor packages. So they get one year uh, uh, credits towards the bachelor program, but ETP get no credit. So they can just finish the program eight subjects and then they go to the first year at UniSA bachelor program. Admissions process is very easy. Uh, you just need to submit your year 12 results, a passport and ILTS. Then we get back to you within two working days. And, and then, of course, you have to submit a GTE documents, uh, which is SOP, uh, which are SOP and finances both have to be submitted. And then uh, you will receive the unconditional offer letter. If you are successful, then pay and accept to receive the COE within a day. As for diploma, so graduate certificate, uh, this is actually uh, a bit different to the diploma. So this program is for mature students, uh, the students who are having a qualification at the moment, but they cannot get into uh, the bachelor degree because of, uh, because of most probably backlogs or uh, that university is not recognized by the uh, UniSA or for some, uh, you know, those kind of reasons. For those students, actually, they can uh, follow graduate certificate in business and management program and then go into master's program at UniSA. So the uniqueness of this program is that graduate certificate is a one semester program and that is the first semester uh, of the master program. So students are not spending more time or money to be qualified. So this is not a pre-qualification. This is actually embedded within the master's program itself. So uh, if you have you know, higher backlogs, you are welcome to apply for this particular program. Uh, but for Sri Lankan students, uh, especially if they have a higher national diploma, with two years experience, they can apply for this program. So there are um, other um, professional qualifications also that we accept. Uh, I'm not going to go through one by one, but 
if you have such qualification, you can always inquire uh, through Aussie's group. Uh, experience is important. So experience has to be post education. So you have to have two years HND plus two years experience afterwards. That is for Sri Lankan students only. Other students must have a bachelor degree. Yeah, this is um, actually a bit of a brief about the program. It's only one semester uh, program, so which is equivalent to a first semester, as I said. Uh, it consists of five subjects, but only carry four subjects credit. One subject is free of charge and it does not carry credit, but it is a compulsory subject that is AAL, Advanced Academic Literacy. That's the difference between UniSA Masters and say bit graduate certificate that will teach you uh, uh, how to upskill your soft skill, basically. Uh, on completion of this qualification, students are uh, achieving uh, AQPF level eight qualification. It's not uh, non-accredited like foundation or pre-qualification. Those are non-accredited, but this qualification is AQPF level eight uh, accredited qualification. Uh, these are the master degrees that you can go to, Master uh, of uh, Business Administration, Master of Finance, Projects, uh, Professional Accounting, Project Management, and Engineering, Engineering Management. So we have four streams, Business and Management, Common Stream, Project Management, and of course, Engineering. So Engineering, so this program is not Engineer Socially Accredited because this is a management program. The, all the programs are management related. Uh, so, therefore, uh, this goes in uh, management field. So, this is the uh, duration and also the outlook of our program. So, GCBM, as I said, that's the first semester. Uh, then they go to second semester at UniSA and then third, fourth semesters likewise, uh, where they can obtain uh, PSW afterwards. English requirement is 6.5. Reading and writing has to be 6 or equivalent other qualification. Uh, yes, it's it's a bit high because, as I said, the students are actually um, coming into the first semester of their master's program. Therefore, uh, we have to keep the English uh, level as per the uh, UniSA uh, entry level, so which is ILT 6.5. Writing and reading has to be 6. Uh, yeah, I already spoke about the admissions requirement. Uh, I'm not going to go through in the English program much. That means English package. Uh, we do not encourage students to actually package with English. Uh, it's good if you can meet uh, the English requirement before you arrive here. Because this program costs you $4,500, even if you do 10 weeks. So to do IELTS or PT, I think it's only a couple of hundred dollars. Yes, so that's us. And then let me talk about uh, bursaries and scholarships. Um, to be frank, we, we don't know yet what kind of scholarships that we're going to offer in June and October intakes. But as of now, uh, we have had a bursary, $1,000 bursary uh, for the Sri Lankan students only. This is an upfront one. Uh, so students can just deduct $1,000 and pay. This deadline is crossed. So the scholarship deadline is also crossed. Yeah. Um, actually, students have had a chance of accepting a merit scholarship if they have... Uh, uh, achieve 60% in their year 12 or 2.8 in their GPA or else from Sri Lanka's three S passes. So they have had the opportunity of applying for the International Merit Scholarship, which is 15% uh, deduction from the tuition fee. Um, and also students have a, a progression uh, scholarship. So if students manage to finish their diploma with 5.0 GPA, then UniSA offers 15% uh, international merit scholarship 
for those uh, students. Uh, that is, this is only for the diploma students, for the graduates, because students must study at least two years at UniSA. So master's students are only studying 1.5 years after completing the graduate certificate. Application process is very easy. You just need to submit your documents to your agent and the agent will submit to us. And we are uh, uh, issuing the offer letter within uh, one to two working, two working days and COE turnaround time is one day. Uh, that's it. So if you have any questions, more than happy to answer. Um, yes, Celine, I have some questions and uh, most of them you have covered here. So one thing I just wanted to ask, uh, is there any uh, internship opportunities available uh, for in your college, like uh, the students completing? Yes, yeah. so we are a pathway provider. So actually they are completing the first year of the university. So after first year, just like universities don't have an internship, we are the same. We don't have an internship, but of course, when they go to the university, uh, UniSA has internship for most of the uh, most of the program, even including business, either in term internship or, or or a capstone project or, uh, or to work work with a uh, industry professional uh, for six months. So those are the opportunities that they have when they are finishing their uh, program. So SAIBT do not provide internship uh, because that's the first year of the university, actually. Anything else? Yes, thank you, Felina. And uh, my other question is, uh, do you have any support services uh, in the college, like uh, any career counseling or mental health uh, counseling or something like that? Is there any specific uh, support services having in the college? Thank you, Bani. That's a good question. I think that's the selling point of Pathways, SAIBT especially. As I said, we have uh, about seven, six to 700 students at any given time, but our support system is huge. So we know those students are pathway students and they need support. Uh, as you said, you know, career counseling or mental health, as I said, for any matter. So even assignments, as I said, uh, so assignment English, that's also free of charge. They can actually have uh, free of charge English support, uh, even programming language support, that is also free of charge. And also they can have peer-to-peer, uh, -peer, uh, what you call it. So senior teachers to a junior uh, kind of a sessions. So UniSA seniors come and, uh, uh, you know, do sessions with the difficult subjects. So those facilities are, of course, available with us, um, apart from, you know, counseling sessions and all that. So we have professional counselors and also students have access to uh, UniSA uh, health facilities. So because they, as I said, they have the UniSA ID card from the day one. So therefore they have access to all UniSA facilities as well. Thank you. Okay, um, thank you, Tilina. And uh, I think uh, we don't have any other questions uh, through social media. Yes. Okay, so then uh, we can end our session right now. So thank you for your time, Tilina. Actually, we uh, really had a very uh, valuable time and uh, the, it was really interesting and uh, you covered everything in your uh, facilities and uh, entry requirements and courses you're offering and everything. I believe that uh, the audience will get more details about uh, SAIBK and also University of South Australia package programs as well. So so thank you very much for your time. Uh, so yes, we can now end our session.